Able's in on air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Able Den On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners with Able Den On Air include Yachad, New York, and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, and the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Able Den On Air has been seen in the following publications, Park Tester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www. .h.com Ableton On Air is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences Bar Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on our needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've been your host, Lauren Seiler. Arlene is here today. Thank you to our sponsors, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, Muslim Media Corporation, which includes uh, Muslim Community Report, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, and Parchester Times. We would like to thank our partners, Yahad New York and New England, the Orthodox Union, and also our partner, um, the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Um, on this edition of Ibolden on Air, we would like to Welcome Shakay Musa Jarme, uh, Muslim leader, editor and publisher of the Muslim Community Report and uh, Muslim Media Corporation. Welcome uh, Shakay to uh, Able Then On Air. Thank you for joining me once again, and uh, we would like to thank Shakay Musa Jarme for joining us, who happens to be a Muslim leader and a peacemaker in the borough of the Bronx. Welcome, Shakay. Thanks a lot, I'm happy to be back on. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Peace December and what exactly is that, and how does that work, and how is that working within your organization? What exactly, what exactly do you mean using their bodies as deathly, deathly weapons? Another 
to talk to among themselves and answer questions about their backgrounds and talk about their common interests and their concerns, everything. The program was the very first program that our community participated and our school was one of the four schools, two Jewish schools and two Muslim schools. The program is one of the most successful relationship building in the city. That, that started, I would say, two years after 9-11. And was everybody was everybody for it or you had resistance? No, no, no. In, in anything in life, you have pros and cons. You have individuals, uh, you know, who will uh, immediately uh, uh, see the benefit, and then you have others who will uh, need some time. So, but you know, nonetheless, it was we had more people who supported them, you know, who had concern about. It. So, 2004, we, uh, you know. We the process of uh, creating, uh, you know, uh, inclusive peace building initiative. That's where we launch, uh, uh, you know, an initiative called Adapt a Friend. An Adapt a Friend uh, in initiative was to host dinners where we invite residents, uh, uh, you know, from diverse backgrounds to come together and, you know, break bread. What the, uh, why is it that, the, that some Muslim housewives were, were isolated? How, how does this program, or how can this program in the future, if it's not now, how can this program uh, help people with special needs or family, families with special needs? Okay, okay, my, uh, excuse me, uh, my wife wants to ask a question. Go ahead. <laughs> um, Go ahead. Take your time. Okay. How does the Muslim 
Does Muslim women still have to cover their heads? Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, you know, in the in the Islamic religion, you know, man is the both uh, in on man and woman. It's a mandatory modesty. You know how we talk, how we dress, how we behave, how we socialize, how we act, including uh, modesty in terms of what? Go ahead. Modesty in terms of everything we do. Um, you know, our actions must be modest. Our relationships must be done in a way that is not too extreme, including how we dress. Because in Islam, you know, women's body is considered. Uh, too sacred and too sensual that can, uh, you know, force Same us, you. you know, to um, unrestricted socialization. And For a- example, in Israel mostly, and also with our family, the women in our family that are married, if you're married, you have to keep your head covered. And um, in other words, like, Example, my, my sister-in-law, whenever she comes, she you can't hug another married man, even if the married man is in your family. That, you know, you get my point there? You see, that's what I'm telling you. That's why we are very, very closely related in terms of, you know, how we socialize and how we do things. So there may be small variants and variables, but in, in, in essence, you know, the, the objective is the same. To, to avoid temptation and, you know, to avoid unnecessary hostility, mm-hmm. you know, among opposite sexes. Because, mm-hmm. they, they, you know, there is chemistry, you know, uh, between opposite sexes. And this is natural. This is not... Well, yeah, I mean, it's out of respect for the... For the for the for the fa- for the for the family yeah, for the for keeping your body sacred. Absolutely, and that's, what, that's all it is. Do they do an autopsy? But let me finish. I want to finish this December before we forget. So, mm-hmm. um, so in uh, in 2010, um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, with the uh, exploration, meeting with different religious leaders, different community mm-hmm. leaders, different educators, and including the Jewish community, um, you know, we came up with a document that says um, we we need to make December. A month of peace building and non-violence. Is it is it because of the Christmas holiday too? Is that why it got adopted that way? Well, you know, uh, initially uh, that that also was part of the calculation. Since uh, December was the last month in the year, and December was a month that had a lot of festivities, religious and non-religious, and also December you know, has some attributes that can easily be converted into peace building mechanism. So we decided that we're going to use that. And and also, you know, um, the, the, uh, even secular holidays, you will find them a lot in December. And also, a lot of companies use December as their, you know, ending of the year or, or their fiscal year, uh, you know, last month, so that they'll be more mm-hmm. eager to you know, donating charities for tax purpose and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So, you know, there are a lot of, you know, good reasons why December can be used as a peace month. And anyway, a lot of people love the idea and they said we be support it. And when we went and met with um, some leaders in India, anti defamation League in downtown, mm-hmm. so they loved the program, but they said the language um, mm-hmm. needs to be edited if we allow mm-hmm. them. And we said no problem. So they edited uh, the current peace December language we have so that it will reflect everybody's background without being, you know, very, you know, uh, ex- you know ex- exclusive of certain groups. And that, uh, that was the... Uh, what do you mean by exclusive of certain groups? No, just like the question you asked in terms of Christmas and, you know, Christian holidays. Uh, the, the, uh, the initial language was tailored you know, to really reflect a lot of the, uh, you know, Christian Oh, holidays. to make it, because uh, not everybody celebrates that holiday. I see your point. Exactly. Not everybody celebrates that. No. Not everybody is Christian or Catholic. Some, some are Jewish, some are Hindu, some are Muslim. Therefore, just make it a general peace-building platform so that, you know, whether one celebrates these holidays or what? not, at least the month is, is 
regarded as a peace month. And so from two as far as peace, why is it in, in Peace December? Why is it so important to really build peace? Um, I mean, obviously, again, you have resistance from both sides. Uh, uh, or, or you have resistance sometimes, it depends. Um, and knowing, for example, um, recently, um, Israel, they, they, you know, they, they, they struck a, 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 a partisan, uh, uh, ceasefire, okay, with the recent war that happened. Why is it so important to build peace in different nations? Without peace, there is absolutely nothing useful. Not money, not land, not luxury, not family, not prestige, not credentials, nothing. Without peace, things will become absolutely useless. With peace, you can have the meager sustenance, the very small basic necessity of life, but yet still have a wonderful life. There is no endeavor that we should spend our energy and investment on more so than building peace. Because when people don't have mm -hmm. peace, as you said in a couple of, couple of days ago, families in Israel were, you know, hankering in shelters bomb protective shelter and including their babies and some have lost their lives. Nobody should be put in such bad situation. People need to be free to roam around, to walk, to live, to socialize and to have fun. Nobody should be under the gun of, of an enemy. Nobody should be staying uh, in, in a room because you know, uh, somebody's going to throw a bomb or or, or, or or something that can be harmful. So we must invest in peace building and we must prioritize peaceful coexistence. Mm -hmm. That is why Peace December is extremely useful because you have mm -hmm. 31 days of peace building and the prevention of violence. And usually when you only celebrate one day or two days, then people may forget. But month long is not forgettable. And every month, every day, something takes place that educates the public about peace and also educates them about the avoidance of violence and hate crimes and you name it. Uh, in, uh, and, and when we say mm -hmm. uh, violence, uh, that includes the domestic violence, the gang violence, the political violence, the extremist violence, you name it. Anything that can harm be harmful to somebody's body, mind, and spirit you know, during this December, you know, mm -hmm. we, you know, we learn to avoid mm -hmm. it. So, so that is why this December is very important. And so every year now, um, you know, uh, more and more nations and more communities are embracing the month of mm -hmm. December as a month of mm -hmm. peace. And we're very excited about it. Mm -hmm. and that, that's good. Yeah, that's very good. Mm -hmm. Um, in, in, in your country, Dame, is there peace there? Is, uh, is there peace in your country now? The country where you came, where you came from. Can you hear me? Hello. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Now I can hear you. I lost you for like. Okay, no problem. Is there is there peace in your country, the country where you came from? Is there peace now? No, no, no. There has always been peace. Um, you know, we, um, you know, in in the last, I would say, in the last sixty years, uh, I can only, I can only remember one or or two uh, attempted coup d'état that that caused things, but we do not have constant conflict or anything because the country is like a, you know, you know, hegemonious, you know, 95% Muslim and even though different ethnic groups, but they're all the same. So, you know, we know nothing but peace. It's not like some part of the Middle East where there's a constant strife and conflict. You know, we are, mm. you know, I was born and raised and, you know, and 
in, in terms of Peace December, and uh, and now I'm going to ask you a question about the media. Um, in, uh, in terms of like conflict and different nations, um, m most recently Hollywood and um, and different movies have been portraying uh, terrorist things. You know, terrorist uh, ideologies. Like, example, you had um, 1994. You had uh, a, a movie. It it started Don starred Don Cheadle, uh, Hotel Rwanda, about a man who who saved the people from his country um, due to war that was going on there. Um, and then you had not too long ago. Um, the situation, um, you remember the movie, Not Without My Daughter? Yeah. Okay? Uh -huh. So, about a, a woman who saved her daughter from a, an abusive father and husband. And then they, with the Iran, uh, the Iran uh, situation there. Uh, how has media portrayed, um, in past and future, and where do you see the peace building, and how can we kind of talk to the media in terms of, um, you know, uh, not painting a bad picture, per se, of, of war, you know, because war is horrible, but uh, how can we work on this? like I'm not Will 
so yes, yeah, so September, so, September, uh, so December twenty first is World Peace Day. So and then within World Peace Day, you do Peace December, or or what day in December is is your celebration? Well, I mean, it, I I know it's a month long thing, but do you have like different, um, different events within that? Correct. <clears throat> Okay, so why don't you give us the uh, website that... Um Full functionality of the site is necessary. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it's up. Yeah, so it's not up here, but, but that's the address. Just keep on checking. I'm sure. I'm sure before within within a week. It says something about it says something about JavaScript. I have no idea what that is. So, but if anybody anybody wants to find out about Peace December, they should call you at 718-822-5555? That is the best way and the fastest way in the meantime. Okay. And for those that want to find out more about uh, your work, and um, uh, they can go to the Park Tester Times Muslim Community Report. Do you have a... Do you, does the Muslim... Media Corporation have a website itself, the whole corporation? No, the, no, the corporation is a holding company. It is a company that is a parent to all the other outlets, so it does not need a website. So mm. either, either one of those three websites will give us some basic information as to who we are. As a matter of fact, I think some of them actually carry the logos of the other entities. So anything about me and what I'm doing uh, can definitely be found in uh, in one of those three websites. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for more information on Peace December or any other work that Shakeh Musadrame is doing, you can log on to uh, Times.com, www.parkchestertimes.com, Muslim Community Report, or the New York Pirate at www.newyorkpirate.com. Uh, Dot com. Um, we would like to thank again for joining us for Shikem Musadrame, Muslim, uh, Muslim leader, publisher, editor um, of um, all these media entities. We would like to thank him for joining us on this edition of Able Then On Air. We would like to thank Shikem Musadrame for joining us on this edition of Able Then On Air um, from the Muslim Media Corporation and um, 
publisher and editor. And also, we would like to say, uh, yeah, conflict it can sometimes go either way. We would like to wish everyone a speedy recovery. Um, those that are suffering right now in Israel from um, now the ceasefire that that is going on due to the war in Israel. And we wish everyone well and uh, Baruch Dynamish, uh, which means, um, you know, uh, we wish the families who are mourning right now, um, uh, you know, much prayers to those families. Uh, we would like to thank Shekemu Shadrame, um, our sponsors and partners, uh, for joining us on, uh, as part of Abel's and On Air, including uh, the Vermont uh, Division for the Blind, who has, who has and is a partner of um, Abel's and On Air. And we would also like to say that we are members of the National Academy of uh, Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Abel's and On Air. I'm Lauren Seiler. Arlene uh, has joined me today. Um, see you next time on the next edition of Able Then On Air. Able Then On Air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services. Empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Able Den On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners with Ableton On Air include Yechad New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, and the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Ableton On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com. Ableton On Air is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences, 